the education system in Nigeria has virtually collapsed. Yet, let me give you an example. If somebody took a degree from a university in computer system about 10 years ago, if he goes back to work now, he's going to be using the same system they taught him in the university. Whereas computer technology keeps evolving and changing on a daily basis. If you are going to meet your prospective employers abroad, they ask you when you graduated and you said 10 years ago, they will want to know the number of refresher courses you have done. Otherwise, you have become completely unemployable. So that is just an aspect of the critical danger that we face with education in Nigeria. All the libraries are gone. All the books in the universities are gone. All the great teachers of my period, they are gone. Some of them are dead. Some of them, they have even refused to enter into any dialogue with the nation. Some of them are alive, but they have you know, they have chosen uh, the route of uh, internal self-deportation. You know, there are two kinds of deportation. You can be exiled and you can exile yourself. You are still in that society, but you are no longer part of it. There are a lot of people like that. There are professors, doctors, people who have studied in the highest institutions in the world. And they came back and said, this is a big mess. We are not going to be part of it. For the full interview with Professor Williams, do watch Newsnight tomorrow, Monday, 22nd November, on Channels Television at 9 p.m. <laughs>